Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. Well, we are over at Trade Hill <laughs> and Bitcoins are last at 13, 13 5 by 13. So if you haven't heard the news, it's some pretty big news. Mt. Gox got pwned is the only way to describe it. Somehow a hacker got in and you can see uh, the news here it's posted the Bitcoin will be back around 17.5 after we roll back all trades that have happened after the huge Bitcoin sale that happened on June 20th near 3 a.m. One account with lots of coins was compromised and whoever stole it using an HK based IP to log in first sold all the coins in there to buy those just again just after and then try to withdraw the coins thousand dollar a day withdrawal limit was active for this account and the hacker could only get out with one thousand dollars worth of coins apart from this no account was compromised and nothing was lost due to large impact that this had on the bitcoin market we will roll back every trade which happened since the big sale and ensure this account is secure before opening access again update regarding leaked information we will address this issue too and prevent logins from each user's linked information includes username, email address, and hash password, which does not allow anyone to get to the actual passwords should it be complex enough. If you used a simple password, you will not be able to log in to Mt. Gox until you change your password to something more secure. If you use the same password on different places, it is recommended to change it as soon as possible. Service return. Service will not be back before June 20th, 11 a.m. This may be delayed depending on what is found during the investigation. So, and of course, there's a huge thread. Now, what is even more interesting than that, if there could be anything, is that if you jump on over to the Bitcoin forum, you actually have a thread that now has 3,003 views. Let's refresh it just to see how hot this thing is and watch it go away and be banned. So this thread is actually the, now it's 3,200. It's the file that contains all of the usernames, passwords, uploaded by this chick. Now I did a quick look on Google and it doesn't look like I, there it is. So let's do a search here again and you can see there's two links on Google for this address that has this leaked info that was hacked out of Mt. Gox. So I don't know what the laws were that were broken here. It's pretty complex. I think uh, it's the jurisdiction isn't it in Japan? So really weird stuff going on anyway. So this user posted this link and you download it and you get this file. And you're like, holy cow. There they are. The usernames, the email address, and the password. The ones that are really disconcerting are the ones like number four, just digi. He doesn't have an email address associated with his password. How is he going to get back in? Now, some have speculated on those threads that they're not sure how strong this hashing is. So, Basically, and I don't, I'm not an expert. I mean, I'm, I'm a network guy in computers, but I'm not a systems guy. So I don't know brute force very well. But I'm assuming that someone could try to brute force these. They have every password in hash. They could try to brute force them. It's kind of interesting that they all start with dollar, one dollar, or a huge number do. So. Now, to find out if this was legit, of course, first thing I did is a control F and find Brother John F. And guess what? There I am. 
number 43,540. And you can see my email address at Yahoo. So, maybe that my $99 experiment. <laughs> Uh, boy, I don't even want to hear Raw Dog go off on this, but uh, my $99 experiment with Mt. Gox may have turned bad. I've Trust me, I've lost a lot more money than $99 trading futures and options and stocks. But not physical silver, but futures, options, and stocks. I've lost 100,000 times more than that. But anyway, so... Of course, the first thing I did when I saw that one is I jumped over to my Yahoo account and logged in and changed my password to 20 characters, lowercase and uppercase, and uh, hopefully nobody's going to, if they break this hash, then uh, I guess I'm making myself a target. Oh, well, I'll break my hash, take my $99. So, but anyway, I changed my Yahoo password to 20 characters, lower and upper case, alphanumeric. So, don't know how that, how secure that is. Maybe some of you encryption geniuses can tell me. But that's uh, this is just a fascinating saga that's going on with Bitcoin. Now, again, a lot of people have said this is uh, a Bitcoin issue. This really isn't a Bitcoin issue. This is an attack against Mt. Gox, which is just some site that allows you to trade dwallas or dollars or whatever you want. It just monetizes the Bitcoin. So this has nothing to do with the security of the Bitcoin itself and its system. It has to do with the security of a particular website that was hacked and the user information was leaked and of course also the price of the Bitcoin on that was completely crashed so now what are the implications of this well it's just uh, it's too much to think about right now a lot of the people on the thread are discussing it now I have noticed that Trade Hill has a lot of uh, people going out saying there you go I told you you should be using Trade Hill and let's see, they actually have an announcement. Trade Hill has recently learned that a large number of user accounts at a competing Bitcoin exchange have been compromised because of the possibility that our users may have used the same password on multiple exchanges. We will be halting the ability to trade or withdraw funds for a few hours. We hope this will give all our users time to reset their passwords if needed. You can reset your password by clicking your username which I think I'll do that right now. And let me see if my old password works. And I'll do my new 20 character one. And I'll try that again. This is not easy especially someone like me who works in computers and has over 150 passwords but that's the price you pay so let's see if it lets me change my password and it did and I'm gonna update my Firefox file which can probably get hacked as well so anyway so that's uh, Trade Hill and it looks like the Bitcoin is still under attack. It's as far as being traded for currencies. So is this related to all of the other attacks that have been coming against the Bitcoin? I don't know. It's interesting that the price was crashed all the way down to zero now I do have the raw file of my original video that I posted that was live feed as it was crashing and when I was watching the live feed as I as I rewatched it there were some interesting things that came out 
So let me see if I can revisit it. I actually had another live one that I did and I tried to save all these so I'm gonna see if I have that one live in the original cam studio quality because there were some interesting things on that crash good afternoon everyone time for another Bitcoin report you are watching a crash in yeah, real time yeah and this is the original we are down to 4.8, 4.6, 4.5. So 4 .4. let me. I've been watching this since about 17. Down. I've not seen a single uptick in this market. It's going straight down. And I would be fascinated. I'm going to know try to fast forward to a couple of things sure before I run out of time. Three and a half. This is 3.3. A 15 minute account. And I don't have not like my silver channel I don't have the ability to go above 15 minutes so I have to cut it short in a couple minutes here but I wanted to look at this real quick now if you look at this link at, at this screenshot here you can see that the trade that happened at 315 was we went down to 0 0.0123457 and it was 0 0.01 coins that were traded so this was some kind of flash crash you can see that it was 0 0.01 coins that were traded at the point of a price of 0 0.0123457 and they trade at that price for quite a while. Now, if I go farther in the video, I actually brought back up the feed, and you can see where it comes back out of that price. Fortunately, I switched back. I don't know why I didn't leave that live on the screen. I just wasn't thinking at the time. But I'm pretty sure I caught that live of when it came back out. and we have to go back a little bit and that's I think that's it so if you look at these prices in this feed we had 0 0.01 and you saw a thousand then 895 then a thousand then 10,000 then a hundred and then you had 261,000 bitcoins traded at a penny and then the price jumped to seven cents and then ten cents and then ten dollars so I'm gonna have to go back and analyze my feed and my video I had another video that I did when it, the price was higher and I panicked and stopped processing that one and jumped in and ran another video so hopefully I'm gonna get a chance to post everything that I had that occurred while this was happening but uh, I don't want to run over my 15 minutes and have to chop this video up so I may be jumping on and doing another video real quick or if not I will talk to you next time